how do I make money off thin air and space? That's what I need to figure out. So much space, man. Yeah, I'd give it all a good deep clean as well, man. Huh? I'd give it all a good deep clean as well. It's my job after all. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, fantastic, man. I'll um, I'll have to, I will re I'll really wrap my brains if I can figure out a way to, if I could get that price down and, and offset the cost somehow. Then I'm, I think I'll definitely go for it, man. You have like an old car that's been sat there for like forever. Have you got anything like that that I can clean for a video? Literally, an it's old green. Car? yeah, it's like green. It's, it's a, a fucking van. <laughs> 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 Anything like literally any of the dirtiest things ever because so I'll treat you a few, I'll treat you a few quid for yeah, it for no, filming a video yeah, like because I love stuff like that. Right, nice one buddy. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Pleasure to meet you as well. Right then folks. Uh yeah, that's interesting. So I don't know what the hell this video is gonna be, um, even if it's gonna be a video, but I may have put the clip with the first unit. Basically I'm unit hunting or storage hunting. Um I did mention in the video before that I've got a storage unit already. Uh, but it's third floor, it's up in a bloody warehouse, uh, it's an absolute nightmare, I still don't have any stuff in it because I'm just putting off doing it because it's just going to be part of my French, I fuck about to get all my stuff in and out every day and it's just I'm just wasting money every month now, just paying for something I'm not even using. So I've been thinking like right, I need something bigger or I need like an outdoor storage container type thing that I can just pull up in the morning, uh, load all my stuff in and out because I've got so much equipment these days, it's, it's, it's really difficult. Um, with the garage I'm using at the moment, it's like uh, it's taking hour, like an hour in the morning just to get loaded up and it's doing my head. So everything's a mess, you've seen it, if you've watched my videos for a while, you've seen the bloody garage, it's bad, it's not even mine, it's my partner's dad, so yeah, I feel bad for him. So I thought, right, let's look for either an actual unit, and I mean obviously a unit, which is something I'd probably work out of as well, so I'm thinking YouTube studio, uh, I can film videos in there, um, I can store merch in there because the merch is coming soon. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking about that. And it's also something I just really want to get going. Let's see, policeman. Ambulanceman, sorry. Um, yeah, it's just something that I really want to get going. Um, and it'll also help me earn a bit of money as well um, to pay for something like that. So um, you never know sales itself could help pay for the unit but um, eventually maybe if the channel keeps on growing but yeah it's a bit of a stress because I need space I don't have any space whatsoever I looked at the first one in the video um, if I haven't put the clip in already I'll put it in now but that one was really nice uh, it's under a bridge it just looks cool it's so me it's a very me place to store my stuff put it that way I really liked it but the cost is the issue so it's the equivalent of me having a mortgage in a sense um, and I don't have a mortgage um, so it's something that I'm worried about. I know obviously you've got to invest in your business and you've got to have space and you've got to be have a place, a, a base in a sense where you can work out of and feel comfortable and everything's neat and tidy. I'm that sort of guy. I like my work equipment to be neat and tidy. Um, I like my van to be tidy. My van can't be tidy. It's full up with stuff 24 seven. So I've got no space to unload it, which is not, which is a bit risky having thousands of pounds worth of equipment sat in a van overnight. Um, so yeah, it's like, yeah, that's, cause that's something I really wanted this year was to get on the property ladder and try and get a house. Um, obviously it's very difficult being self-employed. It's very difficult being young as well to try and generate that amount of money to put down for a deposit. Um, so it's a catch 22, will my business keep growing? Um, if I'm still stuck in this place where I'm wasting time every day trying to get, trying to figure out space and unload and load the van up. Um, sorry about that noise, by the way. I'm, it says I'm speeding, but I'm not. Um, you know, or is it best to just go straight and get a house first? But that might be another year until I can be able to do that, I don't know. Um, having all the proper tax records and everything sorted in the bank saying, oh yeah, we trust you now. Um, it's, oh, I don't know, it's really stressful trying to figure everything out. Yeah, anyway, so that first one, on the surface of it, that looks great. Uh, the price is, I can't afford it, but I will make myself afford it. Um, so let's say 450 all in, fantastic, I, I can squeeze that. But the issue comes in, it's a five year lease. Now that's something that scares me. I can't commit to five years because I don't know where I'll be in five years time. 
Um, I could have moved away, I could have restarted the business somewhere else. Uh, who knows what's happening? Um, five years is a long time to commit to pay for something at that level of £450 a month. I mean, it works out to what is it, like four, four thousand and something pound a year. Um, but still, for five years, that's just what is that? Four, eight, 12, six, 16, heading towards really 20k a year, um, just gone absolutely gone and if I'm not using it I'm stuck there and I've moved away I've still got to pay that that would be a nightmare um, so I thought right let's get a storage container then so just an outside thing it'll do for a while the downside is there's no space for like an office setup or anything like that um, so I wouldn't be able to film YouTube videos in there I wouldn't be able to do any sort of the, the fun things that I really want to do um, you know, because I want to really take it all seriously and have like a proper little setup. It's not for admin work, I'd say it's for admin work, it's for making YouTube videos and I'd have like a little backdrop and I could up the production quality and film and it's fun, Is this is something I like to do. It's The YouTube's not really about making money, it's like it's a, a serious hobby of mine, I really enjoy it and I think about it every day. Um, you know, they say do stuff you love and if something you love is making you money as well, it's going to be a winner, isn't it? So, um, yeah, so then I'm like, right, short term storage container that's what I went to look at today I probably didn't show that but literally it's a container out in a field um, but the security is good it's on a farm um, relatively cheap as well at 80 pound a month um, but then he says oh do you want to have a look at the unit that I've got up front now this first off how much 600 pound I really can't afford that um, that is a uh, That is literally uh, a mortgage for me, so it's like one hell of a trade-off. Um, but it was really nice, and obviously it's a bit grimy and stuff. I'd give it a good clean and, and get everything sorted in there. But six hundred pound a month, it's like I can't afford that. I wish I could. Um, you know, if I bought it, I wouldn't go skin. You know, the the kids would still eat, would still be okay. But it's just a massive cost a month. Um, and if you have, you know, if I have a month that doesn't do particularly well, I'll be stressing about it and worried. Uh, but then I'm thinking. Would it motivate me even more or make me work even harder if I've got something like that, you know, to pay for each month? Um, I don't know. And the benefit of that one as well is like, not only is it the space, but the guy was basically like, yeah, you can pretty much do what you want with it. Um, there's toilets in there, it's huge. Uh, eventually you want to get cherry pickers and stuff like that. Um, or a cherry picker, let's not get ahead of myself. Um, I can store it in there. There's so much, so much space, man. It's got a Wi-Fi signal just right outside as well, so I could um, upload videos there, film, edit, do whatever I need to do in there, which is awesome. Um, but of course, as always, it's the uh, it's the cost, isn't it? So um, what I'm going to try and do because it does look really cool. Um, I'm going to see if I can find anyone that is local to me that needs space, just like I do. And I'm going to attempt to sort of go in, probably not half and half because I want the majority of the of the space, but I might go in like, but I might go in sort of like you know give that give someone a third of it. They pay even if they pay 150 pound a month or something like 200 pound a month. That's uh, probably a bit much. Even 100 pound a month for God's sake, um, that would be a massive massive reduction on the cost for me. So I don't know, it's either that or I try and figure out how I can make an income from the unit itself. Um, if I start selling something, I mean the merch thing, it's like I'll sell store merch there eventually. Um, it's, it's coming soon but it's done through a site at the moment but I probably won't keep it through a site as soon as I can. If I know that it's going to do okay and people actually are going to um, like buy some of the stuff, then I'll be like, right, I can save on costs and make it a bit cheaper for everybody. Um, by actually stocking the stock myself instead of it being made on command, um, which is how I have to do it at the moment, because I don't want to go and spend three thousand pounds on a ton of <laughs> a ton of t-shirts and jumpers and mugs for one to sell. And I'm like, no, how am I going to get rid of all this now? Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's, it's something uh, not designed to make too much money from, but it's something designed just to keep offset a few costs for me. Um, so yeah, I don't know, that's my thought on that. That won't be enough to keep a unit going at that price, so I need. I can cancel my existing uh, container that I'm renting, that's £88 a month. And then I have cancelled my checker trade already because because of you guys watching the videos, I've, um, I don't need to advertise on there anymore because um, a lot of my work comes from YouTube, which is fantastic. Um, 
way more work comes from YouTube than ever did from Checker Trade. So I was like, right, I can save myself um, 167 pound a month, I think it was, which is bloody extortionate. But again, with a job like mine, all it takes is you one job to come in, and it's most likely going to be worth more than 167 pounds. So it always did pay for itself that Checker Trade, but it never like it never really paid you know it never i never thought like wow i've made like two thousand pounds this month i've checked it you know it never happened i've probably made a few hundred pound a month so is it, is it worth it i don't know um it's nice for the search results when someone googles your name but uh that's kind of a, about it for me you've got to keep up on the reviews with it and i wasn't um i've been a bit lazy so so realistically instantly i've already saved myself over 200 pound a month um by just cancelling those two things so then there's you know that's brings my cost down to about 400 a month i'll be paying for the unit um on top of what i'm already paying for things now outgoings and stuff uh, debits and crap so um 400 pound it's a lot of money so if i can figure something out if anyone has any ideas what could i do what could i do with all that space there's a lot i don't need all that space i want all that space what could i do with it um could i store stuff maybe i could become a chemical supplier you know who knows there's so many barriers of entry to these things it's like i don't know how to begin I've, I've, my right mine's always racing um but the thing for me for starting a business was i know how to clean stuff um you know how hard can it really be um i later found out that it is actually quite difficult in some aspects especially when you get into roofs and things but um realistically anybody can can do it slightly physical really physical sometimes but it's just cleaning something there's dirt on it let's get the dirt off it we'll use whatever the method we can to do it i started out clearing gutters out with my bare hands i started cleaning gutters over with my bare hands and a wet cloth and a dry cloth that's how i did it eventually worked my way up to easier methods with the more money that i made so I reinvested that money back now I can clean gutters really fast with another method. Started off on a roof, on ladders, scraping the moss off with wire brushes. Then I went to scraping it off with tools. Now I still do that. And now I do it also steam cleaning it off. So it's just money, money, money. And it makes money. You reinvest it and you can make money quicker. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when you run a business, you're there to make money. So you've got you to do it. And um, you've got to find ways to make it easy for yourself. But how do I make money off thin air and space? That's what I need to figure out. Because if I can get that cost down even a hundred more pound a month, I'm in. And I have a unit, Partridge exterior cleaning unit, so much space, cherry pickup, another van eventually. Uh, well, van before a cherry, another van before a cherry picker definitely, because those things are crazy expensive. But um, merch, office, desk, gaming chair, internet, edit videos, have a good time, sofa in there, sleep in there. I was living there, guys, that will be my mortgage. But yeah, it's a, it's a tough one because, I mean, even that, I think in my head, right, 600 pound a month, I can clean a roof and make more than that. Hey, it's one roof a month that, that would go over, now I've got a unit every month, but it doesn't work like that because I've thought that way with so many other things that now, I don't have a terrible amount of finances, I'm not in debt, I've been very, very careful not to put myself in debt. Um, I only finance one thing, I think. Yeah, well, I've got like, I think my computer's on finance, but it's like 20 pound a month or something. Um, my van is on finance, so I chucked down, or did I put down three and a half thousand pound on the van, and then that I pay for the van monthly at 160 pound. Um, but again, that was a plan of mine to pay more than that and pay it off quicker, but I don't know. It's a good van, so I'm, I'm glad I've got that anyway. <coughs> But then I thought, all oh, right, that's only one gutter and fascia clean a month for the van. And then it's like something else is like, you know, bills, internet, home bills, you know, utilities, just things like that. That all racks up and I think, oh, that's only another job a month. And then, you know, wages to an employer, you know, a decent wage goes out every month. And I'm thinking, oh, but that's only X amount of jobs a month. All of a sudden, how many jobs a month do I actually get <laughs> to save some money? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. I'm not a very uh, financial guy. I don't really think. I'm not very good at planning things, but I'm not in trouble at all. I'm doing completely fine. It's just, do I want to put myself in a risk category? Because I feel like if I do that, I'm in a risk category, but I perform well under the pressure. So I think maybe that would be better for me, putting myself back into that because I'm 
there can be times if I get too comfortable, the uh, enthusiasm starts to slip. I like to be just teetering on the edge of like danger and it makes me work hard then and it gives me my brightest ideas when I'm at that point. Um, and so far it's worked out very well, thinking like that. But I don't know, here's a, here's a thing, anybody out there that rents a unit, I presume your business is probably gonna be a hell of a lot bigger than mine is. Um, you know, probably talking six figure incomes minimum easily. Um, and the cost isn't that bad when you're earning that sort of that much but so here's the thing any if any of you out there obviously there's a lot of guys in the same business as me if you do own a space has it benefited you fully have you found a way to make money from it um, I know a lot of guys will end up making their own water from like pure water for window cleaning from the sites so I don't think I'd have the facilities to do that there so um, I, I don't want to really do anything like that anyway but yeah what do you do what's your what's your thing is there anything I can do Anybody, I don't really ask for advice all that often, so here's me asking for advice. Should I go for it? I don't know. Tempted. Oh, it's a big one. It's been a, it's been a mind, a mind f year. Uh, the sort of past twelve months, I've really because there's um the business has grown really fast, and I'm I'm really pleased with it. Really, really pleased with it. Um, there's a lot of things that I've done this year that I was terrified of doing the year before, and I was like, oh, I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. Just seems like it's too difficult, too confusing. Um, even the steam cleaning, the, the pressure washing stuff, it just felt really confusing to me. I'm not very mechanically minded either. So I'm not financially minded and I'm not mechanically minded. What is my mind, guys? Um, what am I good at? Talking, maybe. But I'm not doing a very good job at that now either. It was scary, but I did it. I was like, right, let's go in head first. I'll do it. And now, thank God I did it. It's been amazing. Um, and I think I've made more money this year. No, I've definitely have. I've made more money this year steam cleaning roofs than I've made on any of my other jobs this year um, as a total. So that's a win, that's a big win. That was a great business decision. It was the same thing when I bought a pressure washer. I was a bit unsure about buying a pressure washer and then I bought a pressure washer. Best thing I ever did, it was fantastic. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel being like this if I didn't buy a pressure washer. Um, that was the best, smartest business decision I've ever made. Going out and buying a Karcher pressure washer for 100 pound and putting my first pressure washing videos out there. Fantastic. But yeah, this is a big old waffle by me. I don't know where the direction of this video was actually going, but yeah, help, that's what I need. Help me guys, please help me. Do I do it, do I not? Because the only thing I trade it off in my head is like a mortgage, so do I say, you know, I could be saving up, I could be putting that 600 pound a month into saving that by the end of the year, that's an extra what, six, 7,200 pound I'd have towards a mortgage, which is, psh, that's a lot of money, that's like, a quarter of a deposit just there just by the money I'd be spending on a unit every month but is the unit gonna make me more money is that time saved in the morning is that hub to set everything up and make everything neat and organized and being able to walk in and scan my equipment and go right what do I need today I need that 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 and that the whole pressure washing setup there. I can just load the van with pressure washing or I can load the van with roof cleaning load the van with gutter stuff I feel like it would be really um, efficient way of working which is I like to be efficient, but is that efficiency worth £600 a month? I don't know. Some of you will laugh because some of you £600 a month is nothing. You're probably thinking, Sid, what the hell, look at all these rooms you do, it's nothing. But it's like I'm saying, it's not that figure, it's the the combination of everything else. Um, and I've still got more to buy. I need to buy a trailer, that's gonna cost me two grand. Um, there's a lot of stuff I need to get and it's like, man, when, when do you, when do you call it a day and think, no, you're not gonna spend any money now for six months and try and save a bit, but I don't know, man. I don't know. But then again, 600 pound to most people is like, that's a shit ton of money. That's a lot of money to spend on something. But yeah, I don't know if I'll put this up. I might make a second channel, you know, just for little business rants. Sometimes I might be able to actually give advice instead of asking for it as well, but yeah, I might do that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, take care guys, peace. That was my inside the mind of me. Now, I need to go get some milk. Yeah, all right, see ya.